How's it going? Hope you're having a great day. So I tweeted about this yesterday. So there was no vlog yesterday on Thanksgiving, but I'm gonna be making up for it tomorrow, Saturday, which normally this vlog is Monday through Friday. So definitely gonna make up for yesterday's vlog tomorrow. But today we're gonna talk about winter gear for street photography and not camera gear. We're talking clothing gear. Um, I finally made some purchases for this winter coming up um, in Ohio gets insanely freezing cold weather so um, I have a setup going on and I'll just show it off and we'll see we'll put it in action because I'm I'm literally vlogging and freezing weather shooting photos so let's start off with the smalls so first thing is a face mask I've had this thing for years um, you know it goes over my whole head <laughs> and to complement this is this beanie um, so I'll give this so this is a serious brand the brand is serious apparently um, this is a O zero beanie this has like a fuzzy liner on the inside it's really thick so this will go over the top of the face mask and I have these glasses that I'm going to put on with this whole kit as well and it's literally going to cover almost, it's probably like 95 percent of my face is fully covered and my eyes are protected from the cold and this also has like foam to uh, block off the wind which that's usually the crucial situation when you're out just wandering the streets is that freezing wind from there we'll go to gloves so these are uh, a north face I don't, there's no brand or like uh well it's you are powered is what it says but there's no um uh, i don't know what type of north face gloves these are but I'll give you a, a pro tip. So normally uh, the the man version of uh, North Face gloves, if you wear them, they're like mega bulky, like the, you know those elementary school gloves that you wear, and they're like they're like super like just floppy big gloves. These are uh, the the woman version of uh, the man gloves. So they're like a slim profile. They fit exactly the same. It's just a slim profile. Go to socks. Got to have a nice proper pair of socks. Nice thick pair. Um, I'll probably test these out with just wearing these. I might even wear these over regular socks and just kind of double it up. And for pants, I have these North Face leggings. I'm going to start off with these. I don't have any like fuzzy lined um, leggings or anything like that right now. If it's like a, a lot of snow and need all the protection from getting being wet and all that kind of stuff, I got these. These like overall winter uh, pants slash overall gimmick here. These, these things are amazing. It's got all zipped pockets with the liner in the side as well. Like so, it's super soft in the pockets. Um, this also has like this uh, elastic inside, so it keeps it you know over your boots. Uh, it has a thing as well to kind of loosen it up if needed and tighten it back up so these are also you know water resistant and all that kind of stuff as well um, so yeah that that one we put on so I have to worry about getting like snow or anything up my back or anything from like being exposed and then from there is this coat I think you say call it Jamise I'm gonna just roll with that this thing is amazing it's got a like a fuzzy inside as well. It's got a ton of pockets and they're all uh, um, water uh, resistant zippers as well, which is awesome. Massive hood and this straps across. You can literally have yourself just fully bundled them with this face mask and hat beanie gimmick. It's insanely warm. So this is a beast of a jacket. I highly recommend it. I've already worn this out in 20 some degree weather and I didn't, it wasn't even phased. So it's like, it's wind, weather resistant, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's got an inside zip pocket as well. Um, but yeah, amazing. This also has an inside liner like the, like the overall things do is it has, um, so it kind of has a long sleeve end kind of built in here, which I'm trying to figure out. So it has got, it's got like thumb holes in it. So you can kind of have like the thumb hole gimmick. Um, but yeah, highly, highly recommend this winter jacket. Um, very nice. And then I literally have just Wolverine work boots. Um, they're waterproof, all that. I'm just gonna roll with these to 
kind of get things started. We'll see if I end up getting snow boots, um, but maybe not, I might not need it with this whole setup with the pant with the pants going over and all that. So if so, I'll get some snow boots and I'll update you with those once I get those. If I do, and that's my winter gear for street photography with the clothing. I'm looking forward to going out in these these freezing conditions now because I'll be geared up and ready. I'm excited with what I'm gonna end up getting. I have a certain style I'm gonna try to mess around with while photographing as well. So I'm hyped to get into it. Um, it's it's not bad once you're geared up, like like dealing with those types of conditions of freezing weather and wind. So I've never really had any of this type of stuff before. I've had just like a standard pea coat jacket, and I have I had those leggings. Um, still pretty dang cold if I was out like doing any type of shooting, which I never did, did anything like a project or anything extensive or even really walked the streets in those types of conditions. Um, but I've been out in it obviously, you know, living in Ohio. So to be properly geared up and take like full on photo missions and try to find photos that I've never done before um, is something that excites me a lot. So, and I'm excited to bring you along and I just want to thank you for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And like I said at the beginning of the vlog, I'll be back tomorrow for a Saturday vlog to make up for yesterday. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you then.